Hello MacWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to another episode of MacWarrior 5 Mercenaries. Today I have something special for you guys, because there was a request that I should build a double AC-20 King Crab, and that's exactly what we are going to do, guys. So if you have any ideas for builds that I want uh, that I should check out, uh, go ahead and uh, leave a comment down below in the description of the video, and I'll see what I can do. So, first of all, we go to Florida, we're gonna have a little vacation there, we rebuild our builds, because that's what we obviously need to build that King Crab, and we can also repair there, and then we can go back, because there's a multi-mission that I want to play today, so... Let's see if that's possible, let's see if we can do it, and let's see if this King Crab is actually doing something good. I am not entirely sure. Let's see about that. So, Kentaro 20 is there. Mm, not a mech that I want. Absolutely not. Oh, good old Rifleman. I know, I know, I know, I like this thing. Anyway, uh, what are we doing here? We'll check out the storage real quick. There is an LRM5 stream tier 4. I'll buy all of them, because I want to. Ooh, SRM6 Artemis, perfect. And more SRM6 Artemis. Alright, I'm very happy with that. Mm -hmm. uh, single heat sinks, no doubles, ultra 5 ammo. Yeah, yeah, I can see. We are going we are going a little bit higher on the, um, uh, what's it called? On the, on the uh, quality rating here. Anyway, um, let's take a look at our battle max. There is a King Crab that has auto cannon 10 burst fire right now. And I think this is going to be our platform that I want to use for the AC-20 build. So we'll drop all of this. We'll drop all of the singles here. Ooh, I think we need doubles in actual, actually to run this thing. Hey, let's see. Do we have auto kind of 20 burst fire even? Uh, we have two of them. That works. We need something like six tons of ammo minimum. Let's say seven even. Right, and Oh, wow, we don't have any... <laughs> okay, so that's gonna be interesting. Uh, we have the doubles, that's good. But hey, we need to buy more of the AC-20 ammo. Bam, 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 bam. Gonna get that. And I would say we go in with... 8 tons? Like this? Repair all, alright. So, there's some more stuff that we can do here. I want to make this a close-range brawler. I want to overwhelm enemies as quickly as possible. Therefore, what we're gonna be doing is... We're gonna slap an SRM-6 on the mech. I am not entirely sure if we should go for Artemis here. Um, no, it takes up too much, uh, too much weight. That's the thing that I don't like. So we'll put the biggest SRM-6 there possible. And that's gonna be it. Okay, so the reason is that I also want to add um, a large laser. Let's go ahead and put that one on the mech. Uh, we could go for an ER large laser. But I think, again, the heat management is our bottleneck here. And then we need a ton of SRM ammo, obviously. So, we'll do that. We can shoot 50 times with that. That's fine. Mm, and I have the feeling that I want another double heat sink. Oh, God. 7 tons of AC-10 ammo. It's not enough, right? We need uh, another half ton of AC-20. Did I say 10? I mean 20. So, I think this is gonna be a build that could work. Of course, we could also just go in with more ammo. And the large laser is going to be, let's like, say, a medium laser, or maybe even a medium pulse laser. But I want one thing that I can aim at the sky and shoot down the helicopters that are bothering us. Because I'm, a, I'm just afraid of them. Alright, let's get that down to 21. Alright, start work. Cool. So, the rest of the mechs are just going to get repaired. Good, good, good. Uh, wait, you didn't lose anything, right? No. That's good. And then, I want to go ahead... I don't want to play a multi-mission, as I was saying. There was one on the planet that we were coming from, and it looked very, very interesting. So, let's check it out. Was he an Oist Otisburg? Why is this blue, by the way? Seriously, why is there a blue circle around it? I have no idea. But hey, King Crab is coming, and King Crab is hopefully destroying everything. Let's see about that. Two auto cannon 20 burst fire. They they have such a great recoil. They kick like crazy. But they also deal a ridiculous amount of damage. So here it is. It's a four mission operation. First, defense, then assassination, then war zone, then again assassination. We have to think about the usage of our mechs quite uh, you know thoroughly. Alright, wait for that. And I would say. Now we start. So defense, assassination, war zone, assassination. Great. What I want is, um, hmm, maximum salvage here, bit of that, 
And sea builds. Right, here we go. Uh, we will be playing the King Crab first. Sure, let's go ahead. Let's do it right away. This is going to be our AC20 burst via King Crab. The rest of the mechs are going to be King Crab, Highlander, Atlas. Uh, no, it's going to be King Crab, Atlas, Atlas. This is how we roll here. Ready up, guys. Here comes the first mission of the day. Ooh. So playing um, defense here should actually give us very little return fire, very little damage that we will take in return. And um, I w I'm really hoping that we can use those mechs um, that we have here, like these mechs that we have here, for a later mission again. Because we have four missions to play. And that's a lot. It's quite a lot. Let's see. We need to keep our, our um, damage that we are taking at a minimum. That's super, super, duper important. All right. Launching in two seconds. And here we go. I'm excited. Are you? I am. Let's see what we can do. Ah, oh, this is so beautiful. Wait, that, that's the base? The and the wait a second. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's the base. Well, it's not big. It is not big at all. Yeah, 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 fine. Protect the charisma by just running through it. That's the, the usual thing that we are doing here. Alright, here they come. Let's go in and try to shoot them. I am, I'm uh, excited. Oh, that's a manticore already. Target destroyed. I like his voice so much. So, launch laser to the sky. Still out of range. But here they come. Hey, Cicada. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, I think now we can shoot here. Oh boy! Oh yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I'm talking about here. Uh, all right. However, this Griffin doesn't like me because what I'm doing to his cicada friend. Let's punish him for shooting me. And yeah, as you can see, the heat management is in fact the bottleneck. Alright, he's without weapons, so we might as well deal with somebody else there. You must have really kicked over the beehive here, and we kicked over the beehive, as per usual. Inbound. This is amazing. Uh, drop trip coming down behind the rocks, though. A thousand meters away. Which gives us enough time to actually deal with... this there. Okay, so tanks first, and then we're gonna go for the max later. And I don't care so much about... Um, you know... Uh, how to say it? Yeah, this this is how I not care. I don't care too much about the, the garrison here as long as we keep it above 50%. That's gonna be fine. There was a flyer here? No? I mean, the mechs are coming. That's good. Ah, there was the other tank or oh, the flyer, whatever that was. So here's what I do. I just go for them instantly. We just go in. I'm not afraid. Like this helicopter. Pretty cool design. Or VTOL or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, and it very much seems like we have to push them because they are kind of stuck behind that rock. Which is, uh, yeah, yeah, it's the case. Okay, auto cannons ready. Locked and loaded. 300 meters. There's another griffin that's coming. Hey, man. <laughs> this is just so ridiculous. Oh, wow, I missed a bunch of them. Uh huh. Better aim for center mass. <laughs> okay. I mean, I think it's not efficient, but it is damn fun to play. The burst auto cannon 20s, guys. Two of them on the same mech. It's just ridiculous. So, what's there? It was a blackjack, right? Yeah, it is. Hi, blackjack. And again. Oh, and he's so confused, the poor little guy. See, the biggest problem with the Auto Cannon 20s is that they spread the damage so much. I think Solid Slug would be even better here. I'm showing multiple hostiles incoming on your position. Uh-huh. My position is where? Where are the enemies coming from? Alright, let's get back to the base because I think they landed the dropship right next to it. We don't see anything down here anyway, so get back. Because we are here to serve and protect. Son of a bitch. They've blown our fuel supplies. Yeah, they are in there. Okay. Let's do it. 
gut. Hey! Hey! Hey, stop! Hey! No! Alright, here we go. So, next... Mm, wow, next target is gonna be a Marauder. As well as something else. Fine, we'll do that. Yeah, they have, they have dropped their lands right in the middle of the base. I wanna poke him, but I also wanna bring my auto cannon 20s on point. Okay, never mind, it has started. So, let's go. Use the high mounts to do high mount stuff. And now the auto cannon! I don't watch my fire. You have hired me to destroy the max, and I will do it with some reckless charges here. Got him! Oh, the heat. The heat is ridiculous. Uh, I think with a double regular AC20 shot, we could have gotten his cockpit there. But not like this, you know? Not like this. Hi! You're dead. Good job, guys. Good job. So, where are they? They're probably dropping another ship on us, right? I mean, that's an Igor coming down. He's too far away to shoot him, though. So, we're gonna wait. I don't see anybody, which is weird. No. Again. And I think we found the enemies. I mean, some of them are... Ooh, wow. Some of them are there. Yeah, this party sign has to go. Oh, come on. Good, got him. And then there's another partisan tank. It might be that they just dispatched some tanks there. Yeah, we hit him behind that. The missiles were actually falling at some point. They are losing momentum uh, because their fuel is empty. But they're still flying and they still have their explosive warheads. Where? Oh, here. Guys, come on, follow me. We're gonna get that stalker down there and his friends. And there are some tanks in the proximity. Ooh, there's also a carrier. Crazy carrier. Alright, alright. We'll come back. Hopefully he's busy shooting the buildings and not us. Uh, especially our backs. So fun! Uh oh. All fuel reserves? Alright. Um, I, I guess you're going by foot now. It's even better for the environment, so... Uh, get it your favor. Okay, let's go. Uh, I, in, yeah, I gave the order to engage the stalker. So we might as well help out there and then go for the battle master afterwards. If it wasn't for him blocking the stalker. <laughs> he turned red in the center so fast. Wow. And this is the point where our arms are getting slim on armor. I mean, again, the damage is great, it's wonderful. But we have to be close. We are exposing ourselves to a lot of fire. And that's the problem. Good thing is, Freeman has his mech in pristine condition. Yeah, we need to go in now. Alright, go for the Thunderbolt first. Beautiful. Shooting slightly above our commander friend. Uh, but yeah, we have to we have to go in now. Like now. Glorious. Don't overheat. Now we're fine. So, if you'd ask me what I rather have. Um, an AC-20 or two AC-20s or just multiple, multiple... No, 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 no. Uh, multiple SRMs? I'd say SRMs all the time. Like, all the time. This Jenner here, look at that. Sneaky little bastard. I know. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. No, again. But I think we got him in the end. Yeah, we got him. Only thing that we need to make sure is not to, uh, not to die here. The flyer is down. All right, we got it. In terms of ammunition, I'm happy that I put so much on my mech. Ow. My mech is fine. Ish. 
All right. But yeah, it, I'd say, I'd say really, um, to optimize the build, um, you should, if you want to build something like this, you should really go ahead and dra drop the large laser at a medium instead, or medium pulse, saving some weight and then add more heat management to the build. This is what you need if you want to recreate something what I did here. But honestly, it is so much fun to play if you get into the right circumstance. We got critical, but we didn't lose anything. This is the most important point here. And our other mechs are still in a good condition. Good enough to play the next mission. Which means that... We're gonna dive directly into it. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh, we got 22... Uh, sorry, 24 only. So the only thing that we can get is an Orion. As well as... Just all the medium lasers that we want. Look at that. So many of them. Single heat sinks galore, and that's it. Okay, cool. It's another mech, which means a lot of money. And the others are in uh, pretty good condition. Oh, the King Crab, not so much anymore. I don't like seeing critical parts. So, I think I'll start repairing those. Alright, let's go. Go back to battle mech, start the repair on uh, hmm, this King Crab. Uh, my King Crab is gonna be repaired in uh, a non-conflict zone. Uh, uh, it's fine-ish. Okay, so this King Crab being repaired, we need another mech to, to help us out. Uh, whew, you know what? We are playing Raid, right? So an awesome would maybe not too bad of an idea. I think it's okay to have an awesome here. And I'll be taking a Warhammer. Or oh, it was Assassination or something. I don't know. Uh, thing is, I need two big mechs to, to tank for us. And I want a Long Ranger. Because I also want to engage at longer ranges with my Auto Cannon 2 Burst Fire. Here on the Black Widow. And uh, I want to lead the charge maybe. And then pull back. Let the Atlas move forward. And then uh, shoot from second line or something like that. And having an awesome that helps us out with the long range engagements. And keeps track of um, those tanks and, and vehicles in general. That's good to have. Alright. Reactor online. We could have also waited and put Sensors the awesome in the war online. zone mission later. Weapons online. Also not bad of an idea. All systems nominal. Right. The entire so group you say. Alright. Sure okay. So that's the battle plan. We're gonna go ahead and kill everybody. Hopefully we will find the people there on the eastern part of the map, so that we don't have to go back. All the way back to the western part. Let's see about that. Uh, maybe we turn around? No, we're more or less in the middle of this here, so... Might as well just gamble and uh, get there quickly. Down it goes. That's another one. Ooh, that's a partisan. Got him, and of course the flyer. Sure. Not bad, guys. Not bad at all. Oh, they're closing in. But guys, I love, I love the AC2 burst fire build here. It's beautiful. It's really cool. I have the feeling that we have to kind of get on a high ground there. Oh, another tank. Good. And yeah, it seems like it. So let's take the ramp here. It's another one. This is obviously where the enemies are coming from. So let's get up there and then just go in. It's a lot of targets. Far away. Or the lasers at the very least. Hmm. Hmm. All right. That's how we do it. Let's get this guy, and then I'm gonna take the high ground. And I want the people to follow me. Let's see. We got hit in the back by something. I don't know if it was friendly fire or if it was something that is still lurking up here on the high ground. Uh, it doesn't seem like it though. Uh, I think we are in the green here. We are in the clear. So let's keep going. I want to get out of this assassination as quickly as possible. Because I'm looking forward to the war zone where I can actually play the Annihilator again. Just playing a bit of tower defense, shooting ballistics. It's kind of my jam, I don't know. Laser weapons are fine, but I like kinetic energy weapons more. I mean, not energy tag. weapons, but, you know, kinetic weapons. Like ballistics, because they, they're just loud and they make noise. And, 
you have to lead your shots, so there's some some kind of skill included and so on. Yeah, that's fine. So, nothing here. But we have to swing around. Oh my god, okay, Max, and a lot of them. Uh, we have to swing around. Yeah, we'll take your side also. Maybe. Alright. Down he goes. That's one. Sadly, it wasn't our assassination target. And Brianna something, said something before, like, we have to kill all of them. Not one of them. All of them. But I wonder how many actual targets there are in the uh, on the map here. Might be that we have to turn around. But let's see. First things first. Checking out the space here. Hoping for the best. <laughs> that is so cool that Captain Karshrein is always talking about his tag and his achievements there. I think this could also be a pretty cool mod. It's, um, making it so that the tag people are not announcing every single tag of them. Wait, what? Okay. There he goes. That. It won't die. Alright, I think we got him. Come on, people. I have not, not all day time here. Let's go in. We have a uh, thousand meters left. Good. And I think this little forward base here is now empty. More or less. This I kind of feel so weird being faster than my team and they are just lurking in the in the back. But at the same time, maybe it's even not bad. Because we will save armor for later. You know? We got targets. That's good. Yeah, they come. Um, what's that? It's something. I don't know if we hit it, but I don't know what it is. Good. So, at least one of the targets is here in the base and is coming. It's coming over the hill. It's a Highlander. And it's killing me. At least it's flying. Mm -hmm. Come on. Pull back. Wow, this guy has armor. One shot. That's one. That's not all of them. Okay, got it. Understood. We have to actually go back to the other base. But hey, there's a big door still. Cool thing is, if I keep shooting like this, I'm exactly at 90 heat. So the ballistics only are perfectly balanced in terms of my heat consumption. Or heat build up. Cool. So, uh, I'm gonna check the base because there might be something in there. Uh, which we didn't kill yet. Uh, and then we're gonna turn around and, and just go back to the other side of the battlefield. That sounds like a plan to me. My mech is just mildly damaged. Yeah, this is just some turrets down there. Alright, we have to go back, actually. It's a 3,000 meters run. Come on, guys. Let's move. I think the biggest problem that we will have here is... Uh, actually getting there. It seems to be... It seems to be on some kind of high ground there on the other side of the battlefield, which means uh, ditching down there and running straight is not an option. I have to go around and stay on the high ground. And here's how I do it. I go ahead and scout out the forward base, um, just pushing in completely. If there are some tanks and some, some choppers on the way, I'm just gonna kill them. I can do that with my weapon systems, no problem. But as soon as, in, as I'm in their proximity, I try to trigger the base and then pull back completely so that I lure them out and then regroup with my team because they will fall behind when I'm moving forward a little bit. I hope this battle plan works. But honestly, they are, they are not falling behind too much, so eh, it's gonna be fine. And finally, it's not only saying 3000 plus meters anymore. Uh, it's 2800 now. Kabong! Wow! Those explosions are massive down there. Alright! You see that? That's crazy. But anyway, uh, in terms of am ammunition, we still have 546 shots. So, I don't have to have trigger discipline right now. I can just mess around with the environment a bit. And there's only like one more target. 
We're not in a war zone or defense missions where there are constant drops all around you. This is just go in, get the kill, get out again. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, guys, if you have any ideas uh, for me how to play the game, how to, I don't know, do challenges, special builds that you want to see, um, I'm, all, I'm all ears, let me know. I'll definitely, definitely try out some stuff. Depending on how fun it sounds, of course. If you say, hey, strip your mechs down to no armor and just do that, I'm like, eh, don't uh, uh, I'd rather not. Because you're getting critical quite quickly here and there are so many enemies that just spawn right behind you and then they just, just kill you and that's not fun. That's not fun at all. But something like, hey, just put those weapon systems on a mag and try it, have a good time. Sure, I'm up to it. Absolutely. So, people are like, yeah, a million times behind me, a million kilometers behind me. Um, and I'm gonna stay here. Uh, never mind. That's an Atlas right in front of me. And I'll try to kill him. We have some missile support. Where did he come from? All of a sudden he was just there. But now he's gone. Cool. Right. Let's get out of here. That was the primary target. Go to the pickup zone for evacuation. That went pretty smooth. Alright. The problem that I'm having is that I actually have to go to the evac zone that is uh, pretty close to the enemy's base. There might be something lingering still. There might be uh, some escort of some sort that was helping out the Atlas. Let's see. Target destroyed. That's a skill that you should really practice, just aiming at the center of your sensors in order to kill whatever you don't see, but that you can't sense technically all right here we go next mission is gonna be a war zone very much looking forward to that oh yeah and we're gonna take uh, not quite the victor sadly we'll take lrm 10s then i guess what else medium lasers srm ammo small lasers single heat sinks uh, is what I say. Alright. Good. Yeah, we are ready to continue. Um, the Atlas here in the war zone, it could perform. Maybe the awesome. But I'll definitely change this for an in a oh wait a second. No, you're gonna get the annihilator. I'm gonna pick the night star. Yeah maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. And we still have a fresh Highlander and the Battlemaster as well. You know what? I'll give you war and atlas whatever doesn't matter huh i'm really thinking right now i think i want the night star on the last assassination mission so can i play with the quick draw here or maybe the battle master or maybe the highlander i'll take the master of battles you know what should be good enough i'm gonna give the master of battles you know what i'll take i'll take the annihilator that's it all right so, I only put the Annihilator over here because I wanted the Night Star not in my own hands and not in the hands of a friend. So, this is gonna be our lands. We will also play with the uh, the Awesome here. It looks still okay. It should be... It should be okay. Um, uh, yes, that's it. No, it's not. I'm gonna get the Highlander. That's how we play it. Let's do it. So, Atlas Highlander, Annihilator and an Awesome. That's our lands. I figured it out. So why did I not put the Battlemaster on the other mech? Because the Battlemaster runs 64 KPH. Right and that's commander. interesting to have for the next mission. The the oh, here they come, directly. Boom. And boom. And boom. And more boom. And double boom. And triple boom. And kill. Oh, what? But you were lagged. Huh? Like this? Like this? Like this? Oh my god. Would you die? Please? You little... Ugh. God. Scary. Really? Really? Oh. <laughs> um, that escalated quickly. Like super quickly. Ooh, here we go. So, that's the war zone, everybody. 
let's get into the base and uh, have a good time. I should probably not shoot my weapons too often. Because I am still limited on ammo, and uh, I don't know what's to come here. So we better save it for when we need it. And we can still stomp through this, so... I wanted to make a breach here, obviously. Let's go in. And hope for the best. Commander, you've got the Ops Force attention. Bam. They are converging on your position. <laughs> oh my god, are you sure about that, enemies? Uh, you're gonna die. Uh, right, two shots there. Headshot? No. Headshot? Oh, okay, never mind. Kill shot? No. You can hit him in the head now. Die! Thank you. That is so weird that they are doing it like that. I mean, hot drops are fun and, and probably uh, I mean, a way to do it, but. Dropping in front of an Annihilator like that is probably not a good idea. Uh, I want this gun. Come on. I'm gonna shoot through here. Quickly, before they can do anything. But no, I don't see them. So we have to go them there ourselves. The biggest problem will be extraction. Because our mech is quite slow. And whenever we are in need of getting out of here quickly, then uh, it might take a while, you know? Crap. And we are getting a lot of damage already. So let's be a bit more resourceful. Or careful with our resources. Target is lit with tag. Okay, thank you for the information. Oh, here he comes. Tag him. Kill him. Oh! And they go. But we are killing quite fast, and that's a thing that I really like. So we are getting through this mission we are, like without any trouble so far. Get the quick draw, a bunch of times. Hello, Mister. You're dead. Down he goes. Oh, uh, there's also a Marauder in the back line. Oopsie. Sorry. Almost hit you. No problem though. Side also needs to go. It's the uh, right side torso of a marauder. Let me let me start the sentence uh, again. The right side torso of a marauder bears so many weapon systems. The AC5 on the side. Holy crap! And of course the PPC on the arm that is also falling up. Cool. Uh, more reinforcements right in front of us. And again, I want to have vision. I hit him. <laughs> and I'm gonna take some cover here. Never mind, my cover is gone. My cover is blown. Literally. Literally. Yo, oh, awesome. Gonna go ahead and tank some for me. I took far too much damage already. Mm -hmm. Hey, come on. Let me shoot. Let me shoot. Let me shoot. There we go. Down he goes. <sighs> Yeah! Again! And one more! Down they go! Perfect. But there is an Assault Mech, and our Awesome is porting his back to the guy. Uh, damage on the legs, so he'll keep doing that. There's lots of armor on the legs. It's amazing. Astonishing. Maybe I should have gone for a center torso altogether. Uh oh. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. Dropship? 400 meters. All right, let's get out of here. My mech is okay. Yeah, it's uh, mildly damaged. Nothing critical though. We didn't lose any components. We didn't lose any equipment. Uh, okay, and they bring more enemies. So it's move and shoot. It's crawl and brawl. It's uh, oh, whatever. It is us or them. And I really hope that we can kill them quickly. More. Got him. Mac destroyed, perfect, man, that was really good. Ah, moving to the other side, here comes the cicada. And I think we got him. <laughs> That's even some additional sea bills for us. That's pretty good. And now we're gonna get out of here. So we could actually snack another lance while we are moving back to the extraction without a problem. 
That's cool. And that was the third of it. Now we're gonna go in and play the last of this four-part mission. Man, I'm having a blast here, literally. Oh, this is cool. So, wow. Wow, 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 wow. There's an archer. This archer is gonna give us a lot of money. But there's also, let's see, what else is there? LRM ammo, SRM ammo, AC. Mm, yeah, okay, it's fine. It's, it's the archer then. And then two more salvage points that we're gonna invest into in LRM 10. Whatever. So, Highlander, good condition. Atlas, good condition. Awesome is gonna be phased out here. And we start the next part of it. So here we go, Nightstar. Um, Highlander Atlas is fine, and hmm, our King Crab is ready. Or the Battlemaster. Yet again, I like the Battlemaster to be fast here. Um, to do 64. This thing is running 48. Uh, buh -buh. the Highlander is also 48. Atlas is 48. King Crab is also 48. So, this is good team cohesion. This is fine. All right, uh, let's drop. <laughs> oh my god, this is just working out perfectly here. Now we only need to get the last mission done and we will be rich. Let's see. Hopefully we only have to kill one and not like three of them. Attention. Prepare for battleback departure. Warning. Here we go. I think at some point, um, when you have a lance or like like a setup like I have here, um, it's really cool to, to give you the challenge with those multi-missions here. Super good. So, here we go. Right. Alright, here's how we do it. Um, I'm gonna turn around. I wanna go south and then north. Like southeast and then north, and then I, I, I'm just hoping. Let's see. Maybe we can find our targets in those two bases. Both of them, all of them, equally far apart. Interesting. Yeah, but we have to actually get behind the hill. So that's gonna be an interesting approach there. I think, in general, it's a good idea to not get hit too much. That's for sure. Um, not destroy. Wow. No? Right, there we go. Um, it's a good idea to not get in between the bases. Okay. Let's go around. Okay, there's that. We're gonna kill this turret. Kill it. Destroy it! There we go. Slowly crawling forward, closing in. A thousand meters, that's basically nothing. So this is our ERPPC range, more or less. We can actually shoot people at that range. Don't do that to me, buddy. No, 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 I'm getting hit by something else. What is shooting me? I had the feeling that there was some kind of... Yeah, some kind of um, PPC carrier there. Also, are Shreks in the game? That's a triple PPC tank. That I know from other games. I don't know if it exists here in Mech Warrior 5. Hmm. Guys, could you let me know if they are in the game? Because uh I've got readings on all of our targets. Take them out before more hostiles converge on your Alright! Alright, that's basically all of them. That's literally all of them. And it, the one of them is an Atlas. I hit him in the head. Come on, just one more. Oh, that would be so good. Let's keep track of the Atlas maybe. Uh, and then that. Hello! Got him. Uh-huh. 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 That's just so much, guys. Just so much at the same time. Pin him. Kill him. That's how we do it. So I want to get another shot on the Atlas' head. Uh-huh. That was not his head. Not even close. Can't get to it. Good thing is, we just kill him here. Was that it? I think it might have been. And then there. Ed. Okay. Ed. No. Uh, man, there's so many effects. It's really hard to hit him. Really hard to see through it. 
Ah, uh, let's just go. Down he goes. Eliminated! Very good job, everybody! So, three out of four. Oh, and they brought reinforcements, and that's a stalker. Let's go for his head again. That was not his head. He twisted in when I pressed the button. What now? Back of four. But hey, you know what? We have so much firepower. Stop moving around. Your death is inevitable. Got him. Got him. Alright. And got him. Wait, he's not dead? Alright. I mean, he had no weapons anymore. But still, he was still fighting. That's the last of them. I might have shot my friend in the arm here. Uh huh. And we're gonna get out of here. Sure. So, that was clean. That was fast. That was amazing. And I'm very happy that all of them actually came over here uh, in the same time, basically. At the same time. They've all been stationed here. That's good. That's really good. So, let's get the hell out of here and collect our bounty. Sorry, guys. You're all dead now. This was really good. It also provides enough resources to uh, make our way south now because we have to keep traveling. I want to see if there is... Uh, something special that happens when you have visited all of the different um, new war zones, the new conflict zones that have been introduced after finishing the campaign. Because I don't know, maybe there's something, and I'm curious. So, it was good. Thumbs up to the team. They actually held back a lot, and they didn't run in mindlessly so that we could use the mechs in multiple, op uh, multiple different uh, missions here. Saving your resources, that's important. Alrighty. So, continue here. What do we get? It's a Cicada for 3 million or a Firestarter for 2.7 million and only costing us 7. Uh, is that a million? Is that worth it? It's still worth it. Yeah, it is. In terms of stuff, just some scrap material. Just some... that. And we get a level up on Captain Freeman. Cool. Yeah, guys, I'd say we have 27 million seabills now. The next thing is to travel down to Brockway. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.